so many nobler bodies to create film. She was exactly like her Gertrude Stein. And this poem is for slash after Tina Dara. We can't all be ballerina stubs or robots. And we can't all heed the ventriloquists and live in the apothecary's store, indulging in mercury, tobacco, the occasional pomegranate, reminiscent of models of rupture. But I can't be responsible for what places look like in a world where the word reverend is so deeply political and turtles are walked on a leash. If the man on the subway was just a man on the subway, if the only words we hear are ambiguous salvation, if we no longer have the capacity to eat human and make love, if one can never know who is mad, who is Promethean, perpetual, adolescent, dovetail, scarred landscape surveillance, I will cite you if I only, if I only had an ecosystem of buzzwords, a hairnet full of intellectual property, a patent on a spinster. As a means of introduction, translate to mean trade secret, artificial like peer-to-peer -peer botany, public domain, vision quest, rights. I am sharing, right? I am sharing all rights. Pictionary this, metatopiary, steel, willy, prosthesis, ensnared in mood neutrality, and chalk it up to, if the work is a work for hire, and, um, yeah, I call this all things digital, or, the loop are tango, fair use, okay? We can't all be bionic, commonwealth sundries, sun tanning, worried about the sources of the day, compulsory, sick, contrapuntally, sick, the reproduction of public faces, sick. In thy voice, digital watermarking, retrieval capacity duplex. In thy voice, an enormous price tag, a shopping bag, a frozen foods concession, a victim of the familiar victim. We can't all be fasting and feasting and fasting and fleeting, innovative in the usual carnage mode, the language of, I agree with you, afloat in some vast bowl of jello, somewhere where I am very much the valedictorian cloverleaf composition, unprotectable, and we the Olympic particular, annoyed by having to greet Wonder Woman, nouveau, edemic, epic, tenor, bad, magician, wait. And I guess I should say that this is kind of an epic. Um, and the poem breaks, um, if I could snap my fingers, I would love to do that, but I don't know how. <laughs> so instead I have quotes. Um, extended release, para instant classic. It's the celestial ennui of apartments while the Stevens. What was meant to be the stomach becomes the mouth. And today's sheep leprosy is just another way into this organization of thinking. So let's take the farmer's market underground, suppress the fight or flight response to pork plants, de facto figure them, vampirize versus consolidation, call dinner. I have no apologies for a lack of blood. I take my provisional self by the sternum, demon Latin for zombie of any inclination. I've no qualm that a spleen infection is not censorship or a function of anarchy. Rather, the body intact is a proverb for postmodern studies, gourmandism, a happening of the progressive kind. I settle on some British themes, an old romantic tale by Milton left unsung, Wordsworth. Data thrashing, schizoid lumberjack, slap the machine on the back, crack the old imperativism, ask to dose or not to dose, for circulation is the right aid I want so bad, got me some cartel fever, some simpatico panache, freshly waxed, no longer dependent on the usual ankle bracelet, prison bling, mild name drop, want a reference? Whose higher intellectual more I shun, Milton. It's not a moment of necessity. It's not raining anymore for the moment. It's not the rip on the side of my galoshes. Or it's not the want to be here, but rather a craving for a specific accent that gloriously mispronounces migraine, recognizes solicitation with a call-out box labeled blunt elbow jab, hands ride high on the screen of my pleasure.
in situations where having something to say can be risking vilification of Harry and Bloomwitz. How can we be sure, how can we tell whether any utterance is to be classed as performative or not, J.L. Austin? We are all mutants in our own gaze, relapsing into false memory syndrome, symptomatically <coughs> urged to become a thing destroyed, a trumpet for the past, another plastic object that encapsulates movement, encapsulates convention, equals plot, to convene our cochlear selves so the body becomes general practitioner, compartmentalized, the kind of retrograde that affects all things physical, the apparatus less glamorous, more barbaric sprawl. But we're already civilized people, social agents manipulated by the vast potential of mishearing and escort and a dowry, typically doused, like the I want to get used to how the elite live, or mark impoverishment as luxury, like coffee, soda, and other elements of delivery, genetic, or hi there, make sure you put your body in the right space. We begin in birth, we witness legacy applicants visibly invisible, advisable, the tip of a flat belly, the self-hypnosis hypothetical, this may be a joke, coincidence, a powerful optimism, download, upspeak, the neurotic character, white out the situation, previous figurine, that means congrats, you're finally in vocation. This friendly condescension to relate, Clinton. Art always requires visible unrealities, and this is a poem for Jane Spray. With the advent of an airbrush leg, elementary in its images of skull caps, piety, and rosary scars accurate, as a liturgical to want to roll over and be docile, I think it's not so hard to imagine what the carnival looks like, a love seat of intertextuality, a struggle with water resolved in the non-sight, non-space, non-sense panel of ugly models who salute the body in all its metabolistic habitation push for. Let us go find growth and evaluate them. Let the gentrification of gangster movies symbolize the true possession of time. Let the rhetoric of how become the quest for new media copyright collage, or just papers crumbled and splayed on the floor. Pedagogy, a container for an additional link to babypages.net, another quasi-consumerist bun bunny-loving frond. I believe there are some archives that are ecstatic, more expansive than the head of a mascot, or the catalog of syllables in the telegraph is hand, athletically presenting intelligibility in cold rinse cycle. Admit I find myself timid, a face or in the face of the post-human variable techno-activism belief that denying the lover who thinks is a manifestation of commodity and translate lover to mean iPod, thinks <laughs> to mean play in virtual feely suits, data gloves, tiny sex, and vital. How long will it take the man in the camp to seem normal again, bookended by biochips, a boat afloat amidst the taste of concentrate, homo, economic, anarcho, hard, hum, and tenon. In 1960, the cyborg was, the first cyborg was a chimp in space. The grand science of dildonics had yet to be publicized. <laughs> we still drew with pen and paper, saw a deer as a deer, not hard train. We spoke to each other, wrote letters, and never thought of polymers as an integral part of social graces. I admit not to be afraid of my semi-object state. My first swimming lessons were from an ant. 